Hello everyone and welcome back to new video. In this video, I'm going to talk about nested navigation. In the last videos, uh, we talked about the navigation and we learned that to navigate between different screens, we need nav controller, nav host, and a graph. Uh, but when we have a bigger application with multiple screens, uh, we need to divide these screens in different branches. Why? I will tell you in a while. Consider we have an application. When we are opening this application uh, for the first time, the login screen will open. Then uh, we have some options. If we know the password and already we have an account, uh, we can log in and uh, be navigated to the home screen. And then we can navigate to a screen A or a screen B that are the features of the application. In this case, we don't need these screens anymore. And in the next cases, uh, if you forget your password or uh, you don't have any ID, any account, and you want to register, you are going to these two screens only for once. And after logging in you will go to this home screen so again we don't need these screens uh, if we use the normal way that we learned in the previous videos these screens will stay in the back stack all the time so uh, these screens will use the ram and the cpu and uh, we don't want this uh, that's why we have to make two uh, groups as the nested graphs and locate uh, each bunch of screens inside one graph. And then when we are moving from uh, one graph to the other graph, the first graph will be destroyed completely and will uh, be uh, taken out from the back stack. Uh, let's go to the Android Studio to see it practically. Here I have a new project. I have added two packages. One navigation and the other one screens. In the screens package, I have added six different screens. Uh, the login screen uh, with uh, three buttons want to go to the home screen want to go to the forget password let me show it to you here and the other one to go to the register and from here i can go to maybe forget password and here in the screen forget password i have the set pass and then after setting a pass i can go back to the login screen uh, i can go to the register screen Again, I have a text and a button to register and after that coming back to this login screen and from the login screen I can press this button which is the login and go to the home screen. This is my home screen and I have options to go to screen A coming back to home and going to screen B and coming back to home and this is the application that we want to work on it. So I have different screens, register screen, forget password screen, home screen, screen A and screen B. And finally, I have built this uh, navigation uh, graph file. Here I have this nav composable function. In the main activity I call this and uh, I have a nav host, a nav controller and a start destination which is login. Here I have the first bunch of screens and here I have the second bunch of screens. And as you can see, as you saw it on the emulator, it works. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you how we can uh, change the structure to have different graphs. Let's uh, start with adding a new class, which will be a sealed class. And I'm going to call it a screens. And 
and inside it I need a value calling it root with a type of a string and inside it I need some objects uh, first a screen login root inherits from this class and I have to pass a root to it equals to login Okay, I have to do the same for the other uh, 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 sorry screens as well. Okay, I have the screen forget password with the forget pass uh, root and register with register home A B, and that's it here for now. Let's go to the graph. Let me zoom. If you want, you can pause the video and write them, and also you can find the source code down below in the description okay in the navigation <clears throat> instead of uh, using this login i'm going to call this class dot screen login route dot root and the same here Just the same for the all of uh, these composables. Okay. Uh, now it's time to uh, divide these uh, two graphs. Here I'm going to add a uh, navigation and i need a start destination here and also a route again for this route i'm going to create uh, another object inside this screen class here uh, i'm going to name it authentication root again inherits from this class and it can be a u t h okay and uh, let's do the same for the other bunch and I'm going to call it app root and here instead of off I'm going to use app let's go back to the nav graph and here I'm going to use uh, the start destination uh, which can be uh, screens dot uh, login road dot road and here screens dot authentication road dot road and now I'm going to copy all of them let's say drag and drop all of them inside this navigation now I have separated graph for these three screens and I can do the same here for uh, the second group A start destination uh, will be a screens dot uh, home root dot root and then 
the road will be uh, a screen dot app road dot road and all of them inside it now if i am running uh, application it works but uh, to have better looking application we can uh, take the i mean this uh, parts of the uh, nav host inside uh, separated files here new cut lane file and i'm going to call it uh, a u t h nested uh, graph then here inside of the graph i need a normal function calling it a u t h graph and a nav controller should be passed inside it and here i need to write nav graph builder dot okay uh now i can take all of this and uh, put it inside of this and inside the nav graph i just need to call it authentication graph and passing the nav controller and i'm going to do the same for the second graph as well so mm, let me copy this and paste it here and calling it app nested graph then here i need to change the name of this function to app and deleting all of this stuff cutting them and uh, pasting them here and inside the graph i need to call it and pass the nav controller into it and i don't need this okay a bit killing and that's it for the graph and now i have to go to uh, the screens one by one and uh, change uh, the root type to this a screen dot uh, we are in the register screen so we should be directed to the login route dot route just like this for all of the screens so i'm going to do this where is the login screen it's here okay everything is changed inside the screens and now i'm going to go to the navigation graph and here i have to change this start destination so from giving directly a route i'm going to mention uh, this authentication graph so screens dot authentication route that root and from here we are going to this and from this we are going to this and then from uh, this navigation 
the start destination will be set as logging uh, in screen so let's check it on the emulator now. we have the login screen i can go to register coming back to login to forget password coming back to login and to home to a coming back to home to b coming back to home and as you can see the application works like it was at the beginning but the difference is that we have separated uh, graphs for each bunch of screens and that was everything about the nested navigation if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you have any suggestion any question write them down please for me and please subscribe to the channel to be aware about the new videos and to support me thank you very much have a good day bye bye